Nothing brings you to your knees like that does. The prospect of losing your child. She asked my wife Karen to make a list of all the people that she loved and the things that she wanted to take to heaven. We, ha- we had a feeling that she knew that she was really sick. I need people to realize that, you know, research and the money that has gone to research has helped my child. When Daniel was born, he, he was born with something called transposition of the great arteries, which means his aorta and his uh, pulmonary artery were backwards. She was born with a complicated diagnosis of Bactral syndrome, which is an acronym for many issues. None of her organs work, her bladder doesn't work, her bowels don't work, her stomach. That's the hardest part, is you're supposed to be able to fix things, and your daughter's lying there, and there's absolutely nothing you can do. Um, it just saps the, the life out of you to see that happen. I lost hope, and the, the doctors um, just looked at me in the eye and said, we're not, we're not going to give up. When the doctor said those words to me, it felt in my heart that I should, they're believing in my daughter, and, you know, I should. I have a heart problem. It affects me because I'm really sad because for a few months I wasn't allowed to play hockey or soccer or go swimming. These doctors here give their life and they do it because they love the kids, not because they want the money. These doctors and nurses are here fighting for our kids, and if we can't help them do that, then what good are we? I don't know what my life would be like if I wasn't here. They've helped me so much. She was having a lot of trouble breathing. They weren't sure why. Within six days, on April 23rd, she passed. I wish for all children that sick kids could get better.